them over here where you can see them. This has got some nice hard knuckle protectors here and uh, got some nice adjustment. Palm looks good. Let's try one on here and see what we think. These are mediums. I have a pretty small hand. That fits good. Oh, they feel, they feel nice. It almost feels like they're padded inside. That feels good. Let's see here. These uh, are made to go outside of your coat if you want, I think. Yeah. Let's, uh, you know, it's kind of cool today and it's sunny outside. So let's, uh, let's get on the CT and go around the block and maybe down the trail and try them out here. guys full disclosure Kimimoto is not paying me anything to go over these gloves they just sent them to me to check them out and we're gonna give an honest review um, it's not terribly freezing today but it's, it's it's pretty uncomfortable to ride with the visor up so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's high 40s or maybe mid 40s today so um, I can already tell though that these fit good i got good feedback on the handlebar grip so far and i'm not feeling any wind through them at all yet so we'll uh we'll give them a good honest review here and take a little quick ride on the honda ct125 appreciate you guys riding along with us and uh it's been a little bit since we've done a ct125 ride video so i figured this would be a good excuse to take it out even though it's kind of chilly give these gloves a good good honest review and see how they do and also get some oil circulating get the battery charged up on the little little trail um hey i have you know now i've got four bikes and i'm very fortunate to have those but it's hard to ride them all at one time <laughs> so it's good to get them out and uh let them stretch your legs a little bit i think as a technician on vehicles for a long time it's kind of the hardest thing you can do on a vehicle to let it sit so get them out there and ride them if you can we're fortunate to have pretty nice weather i mean this is you know mid-january here and it's uh it's bearable you know and also i can go ahead and tell about these gloves uh i was i'm able to turn the gopro on and off fairly easy i can i can feel at this um index finger here has electrical sensitivity for the phone so that's working pretty good i already went through my quick out and uh it seems to be doing good we'll uh we'll open up gaia here in a little bit when we stop and see if uh we can we can navigate with them pretty good i have another different pair that i had to buy in an emergency when Co me and cody ran into that snowstorm in northern west virginia there so they they're pretty good but they're really super bulky they're almost more like a snowmobile glove all right let's see if we can uh let's see if we can go back here and um yes yeah, it's, it's doing pretty good so far and this phone's a little janky anyway the screen's dirty so let's open that app up and we'll hit the target button yep did it really gently let's zoom in yeah it's it's really doing great right there that part is i usually like to ride around 500 feet and look i can drag the map anywhere i want to go both gloves so that's great yeah so far so good guys all right let's stretch our legs a little down through here and get some speed and make sure we don't really feel a whole lot of wind through them these are already out on the market um they like i said before they've given me some things to try that they're bringing to market for the ct but uh i'm pretty sure you can go and buy these right now matter of fact i'll look for an amazon link for them and uh post it below if i can find one i tell you what I let this bike sit for about a month because I was busy and man did I miss it. This is just a good little take the stress off a minute you get on it and wrap the throttle back. It's just a good little bike 
just to ease along on and see the sights, man. I'm so glad that Honda brought this back. I'm just enjoying the heck out of it. I know you guys hear me revving up the throttle when I come to a stop. And I got a little video uh, I'll try to post above for you guys that uh, I went over on downshift in this thing. When I first got it, it not having a clutch, when you go back to first, you could, what I would call, go through the windshield. <laughs> but uh, I've uh, sorted that out with a, a little technique and I went over on that video. So check it out. Hope all you guys had a great holiday. We sure did. Got to hang out with some family we hadn't seen and and uh, just just a good times, you know. It's it's a little different around my house because all of my grandparents are gone now, and they were the glue that held us all together, I guess. And you know, we all become the grandparents eventually. <laughs> so we uh, we just had Christmas at our place this year, and it was pretty nice. I had my mom over, and. Uh, just fortunate to be able to get together and hang out. So it appears that the little CT125 has pretty much won the contest on the community tab if you go there. Um, Uh-oh, the bridge is out. Let's ride down here and see what they're doing to it. This is a good little route I like to take. I know there's a bridge down here. Um, but anyway, uh, I did a little poll on the community tab between this bike, the DR, and the and the, T, the new T-Dub on what to take out west if me and Cody can make it out there this year. My buddy's out in Idaho, and it looks like the little CT here is one by a mile, so I'm glad. I'm going to take it, and uh, we're going to pack it up with some gear. We'll try to keep it light as we can because we're probably going to be doing some pretty good hill climbs and craziness out there. We'll have the 13 tooth sprocket on the front for that trip. I'll take the 14 with us in case we got a really hurry to get back. But this right there looks neat. Old barn. This is just a cool little area. This is considered Katichi, South Carolina. This was a little textile mill town. We're on the outskirts of it now. But uh, right down here on the 12 Mile River, there's a little Christmas tree farm that's really neat called the Merry Christmas Tree Farm. That's a local neat little place to go but uh, they had a they had a, a little cotton mill I believe that's what it was textile mill on the 12 mile river down here and it formed a little town called Katichi. this whole part of the country formed up on textiles all right let's see if we can stretch its legs a little bit here and make sure we don't feel any wind through these Kimimoto gloves Again, this is their wintertime glove. Yeah, it's feeling good. So we got 1,500 feet to gas it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's 50 miles an hour. I don't feel a single thing through that glove at all. Man, we're gonna enjoy these. Shout out to Kimimoto for sending them to us. I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's go see what in the world's happened with the bridge down here. Let's go. Well, I think we can do it without going to jail. Let's try it and see what happens. Whoa, that was slick right there, buddy. Holy cow. Hmm, think it'll fall in if we cross it? <laughs> I don't know why they got it blocked off. Here's the 12 mile river. Yep, it's flowing pretty good today. There's some, that little bank right there. I've caught a lot of fish off of that bank. There's catfish and rock bass in there like crazy. Let's sneak around here and see what we got. Another little fella on a bike. I believe that's a dirt bike. Like, what you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, 
that's a little TTR 125, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think the verdict's in. These are pretty comfortable. I'm glad that we can move the camera angle or the you know the GPS angle around and hit all the little fine buttons even though this is a really thick glove. Uh, got some good protection for your knuckles. Kind of makes you feel like nobody would mess with you. <laughs> and I think if the rest of your body, if it's gonna be cold enough for the rest of your body to be miserable with decent weather clothes on, these are gonna keep your hands warm. I don't know how they'll do in sub you know freezing but probably pretty good it's it's nippy today you know it's, it's kind of miserable to ride with the visor up so i know that they're doing their job i'm pretty i'm pretty proud of that so that's pretty good I didn't mention is some companies gloves don't really fit around your jacket uh, cuff really good so I stopped and uh, zipped up my jacket cuff and put the glove over the jacket which is what you want to do in super cold weather to keep the wind out and these have plenty of room to fit over that big jacket cuff it's a pretty thick jacket um, and they fit really good now I, that I've got them done that way. They got plenty of room, even if you had an even thicker jacket. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that little aspect of it because I have had some gloves where it's just so hard to get over your jacket, especially after you get one glove on and you have to use it. So that went really well. I actually just did it sitting on the bike, so not bad. But uh, yeah, I guess the, the consensus for me is I'm pretty happy with these gloves, man. It's not, like I said, it's not crazy cold today, but it's a little bit miserable to ride with your visor up. So that's, and I'm not feeling any of that through my glove. I got it up to like 55, 50, 55 miles an hour, and I'm not really still not feeling anything. So um, I, would, I would think that if they're letting wind through, I can feel that today. So yeah, Kimmy Moto, appreciate you guys trusting us enough to go over these gloves. That means a lot to us. Um, and like I said, I'm not getting paid by them. I just wanted to give an honest review. These are gonna be some good gloves to add in the toolbox in case it gets freezing cold. And you know, when you're riding in a place like Idaho, like we're planning on doing this summer, I've watched the uh, guys ride the T1, which if you guys have never heard of the Idaho T1, Tour of Idaho T1, go, go do a little research on that. It's a 1,900 mile single track, 10 day uh, challenge rate ride, and not really a race, but you really do, you are limited on time. But uh, I've seen some guys quit because their hands got cold and it's it's they're always riding in the middle of the summer because there's only a two month period where you can get over some of those passes so um these will be great for that they're waterproof wind block in there so we'll take them out and try them um i guess i could do a video on, on riding them with it in the rain and see how good they are on that or dip them down in the creek or something maybe but uh anyway guys like i said Shout out to Kimmy Moto for sending them to us. We appreciate that. And uh, you guys make sure and smash that like button if you like what you see. Come back for the next one. Thinking about subbing to the channel if you want. And um, make sure you keep an eye on the channel towards the end of the summer. If all goes well, I can't promise anything, but it looks like we may be able to take a real nice big camping trip out west. So if that lines up, that's gonna be great. We're gonna do it on the CP if we can go. So uh, we're going to do everything we can to do that, guys. So take care. Appreciate you guys riding along today. Come back for the next one.